WCF Symphony performs Bartok Concerto for Orchestra to open our season at the Gallagher Blue Dorm. And this is just a, such a special treat, I think, for myself and also for the members of the orchestra. We've actually done this piece once before, going back, gosh, I don't even remember the year, um, but we're probably coming close on 20 years ago now. And I had done this piece also earlier when I was in, uh, involved in some conducting programs. And on one of those occasions, uh, it was a workshop, and we were taken over to the Library of Congress and given a list of different manuscripts that the library has in its collection. And one of them was the Bartok and Charter for Orchestra. So it was a piece that we chose to look at. There were several different pieces of music that, that we got to see in manuscript form, and this was one of them. And it was just such an inspiring moment. I mean, I, I think now, over 20 years later, coming back to this piece, I'm still blown away by what it felt like to look at this score. And... Part of it, you know, of course, is, is just seeing the composer's hand, you know, and, and looking at those familiar notes and, and harmonies and combinations and seeing how they really went on to the page. But it was also fascinating to see the methodology in the score. Um, Bartok was writing this piece at the end of his life. He wasn't physically very well. He was he was quite ill. Um, and, you know, that... You sort of take it for granted when you have a piece like this. Oh, a great masterpiece. You know, the composer, uh, you know, just had it in them and got it out on the page. But, you know, this was something that was um, a, a difficult situation. I think he, he wanted to be able to get it done so it could be performed. Um, you know, he did die shortly, shortly thereafter. Um, but I think the I think the the manuscript really showed his his thought process and, and the way he made changes in the score. is just fascinating. A whole section where the where the um, the music that we know was sort of rewritten and pasted over an old section in the score, um, it was just it was just amazing to think about how that music got formed in Bartok's mind and how ultimately he put it together into this into this uh, original manuscript that we saw. So I love coming back around to this piece, reflecting a little bit on that experience, and also working on the piece with my colleagues because um, you know the title really says it all: the Concerto for Orchestra. Um, it's it's um, one of the great virtuosic works of 20th century orchestral literature, and everybody on stage is called upon to participate in that virtuosity, from the conductor who's got to manage you know all kinds of things going on in the music, to each individual player and in section, um, which takes a lead role um, at at a given time and then recedes into an accompanimental role in a given time. So I love I love the way this piece sort of harkens to that um, Concerto Grosso from the Baroque. Um, also ideas that came from, you know, the more virtuoso concerto tradition of the 19th century into the 20th century um, and sort of recasting it all as this, you know, magical work for large orchestra. Um, it's going to be a real treat to perform this piece, and I can't wait for our audience to enjoy it. <laughs> 